Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Whale Zone TV series. On this episode I will answer the question how far can cetaceans be hurt? To explain better this question, I have to divide cetaceans between mysticids and autotocids as they have different ways of communicating. Mysticids, they produce low frequency sounds on the range uh, of 7 to 200 hertz. Low frequency sounds have a bigger wavelength and because of that it can travel for hundreds of kilometers and it's good for long distance communication since the misty sets perform very long migration. It is predicted that low frequency sound can travel from pole to pole if we're not interfered from uh, water surface or oceanic bottom topography. And for example, blue whales has been recorded uh, from over 500 miles away. Odontocytes, on the other hand, they produce high frequency sounds uh, on the range of 30 to 200 kilohertz. Uh, the high frequency sounds, the wavelength, it's shorter, so it's good for uh, short distance communication as they don't travel as far as the low frequency. Taking the sperm whale as example, the sperm whale is the loudest animal on earth and it's been recording the sound of the clicks during the whole dive and they can dive close to 3000 meters. Uh, of course, with the hydrophone, that's what we can hear. Sperm whales, they can hear differently, so they can hear a little bit more than us. Besides vocal communication, whales and dolphins also have non-vocal communication and can, can be either breeches, lips, tail slapping, and these sounds produce um, a message under the water and it can be also a way of communicating with the other animals as well. Okay, it's all for today. I hope you had enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode of The Whales on TV and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. Bye!